ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel and for this video i wanted to share my thoughts with you guys on a couple of the unfinished events that are going on right now in marvel future fight for part two of avengers endgame and these are probably the best part of the upcoming update unfortunately it's not a rework for iron man it's not an infinity gauntlet for iron man it's not mjolnir for captain america no 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 sir the events the events are actually the best part of the next update sad life but anyways let's have a read and i'll share my thoughts with you guys as we go along so greetings agents CM Fragment here bringing you another event. As you all know, the event for Marvel's Avengers Endgame is not yet over. To make sure everyone gets to enjoy the success of Marvel's Avengers Endgame, which, guys, Avengers Endgame is almost the highest grossing movie ever. All right, we're just behind Avatar, so if you haven't seen it yet, boys, go see it, man. I want to see us hit that three billion. I want to know that Avengers Endgame did it big and we took out Avatar because that is really, really, really hard to do. You know what I'm saying? The only other movie that came close to them is Titanic, and we all know how big Titanic is. So if we could take the number one spot, that would be really, really dope. You know what I'm saying? So if you haven't seen the movie yet, go show your support, man, because it's an amazing movie. Anyways, we have prepared a little event for you guys. First, to enhance the value of purchasing using gold and crystals, we've decided to continue the 40% discount of all uniform. And as a bonus, we also have the gold store. Oh my goodness, the gold store is back, boys. We can get a six star mega rank up ticket and a tier two advancement ticket. So that's pretty dope. I'm definitely gonna buy it every single day. I'm gonna buy all the energy. I'm gonna buy all the gold chests, man, because yeah, it's always worth it to spend your gold in that shop. It's probably the best way to spend your gold. And I'm saying if you're one of the people who like to go into the um, collector's vault to blow gold, this is way better than that even though you don't get tier three. Well, you actually do get tier three mats and you actually get it more frequently here than in the collector's vault. So yeah, it's a win-win basically, boys. Unless you get a whole bunch of ISOs. <laughs> Hopefully you don't. We'll see what my luck looks like today though. Anyways, gold store is back. Crystal store, well, crystal missions actually, which we'll talk about in a second is back. This will be the perfect opportunity to spend your golden crystals to get more reward, including the tier two advancement ticket. There will also be a seven day check-in event to give users a chance to obtain type enhancement kits. We definitely need those, especially if you're still trying to get a CTP of rage from the last legendary battle like myself. A new material chest to be received daily and a new vibranium gift box giveaway as well. So they have a picture of Thanos here and then we have the uniform discount. So the 1250 uniforms are down to 750, the 1750 uniforms are down to 1050 and the 2500 crystals uniform which is just thanos's uniform are now down to 1500 so if you didn't buy endgame thanos you definitely should pick that up if you didn't pick up endgame captain america whether it's team suit or his endgame uniform you definitely want to pick those up for sure for sure those are must buys in my opinion and you definitely want to pick up ronin you know what i'm saying that uniform is absolutely fantastic and also boys why was there no ronin team suit well not ronin hawkeye team suit like seriously, what is Netmarble doing, bro? Like for real, why was there no team suit for Hawkeye? Absolutely, absolutely stupid. Anyways, I don't even want to go back to that dark place. Anyways, then we have the rewards for the gold store, which is just energy, uniform upgrade kits, Mcron shards, rank one black antimatter, chaos gnomestone, and then we have the special chest that you can buy that has some beautiful, beautiful rewards in there. Obviously, the six star mega rank up ticket, the tier two advancement ticket. You can get six star custom gears. You can also get Titan component pack and dimension dust, which is beautiful. I wish I get that like seriously for every pull if it's not the six star mega rank up ticket. <laughs> then we're going out here. Then we have the seven day login event. So we have energy. 50k gold honestly that should be 500k we definitely need more gold even though i have a lot i could always use more hidden tickets is nice and 200 bios you can definitely use that to work on some of the uniforms if you're trying to get them to mythic and then we have the material gift box and the vibranium gift box moving downwards we have the bonus crystal mission so if you guys want to blow some crystals to get cdps now isn't the best time anymore because the tokens 
those are gone the token shop is gone but this is still a good time if you care about the mythic upgrade ticket personally for me i prefer the six star mega rank up ticket over the mythic ticket so i wouldn't be blowing my crystals this time around so yeah i still have like what like twelve thousand in my inventory and i was saving them to spend in part two of avengers endgame because I was expecting a good amount of uniforms. You know what I'm saying? I was expecting at least five or six new uniforms. Cap, you know what I'm saying? Iron Man, you know what I'm saying? I was really looking forward to those uniforms. Didn't get them, so my crystals are gonna be untouched. Untouched, untouched. I'm gonna pick up Thor, Captain Marvel, and that's it, baby. Then we have a ranking event for Thor and <laughs> Rocket Raccoon. I don't even know if I'm gonna touch that uniform because although I like it, I don't think I like it enough to get it to Mythic. And then we have Battle World coming back and you can get uniform upgrade ticket and black antimatter. This is nice. This is nice. It could have been just rank up tickets for the other one and uniform rank up tickets for the other one. That would be dope. But rank, rank one black antimatter is pretty good if you ask me because you could always use that to get characters to level 70, right? Especially since a lot of them just got their level 70. But from that list... <laughs> they're basically just all garbage with the exception of rescue right so that's just sad well that's not true valkyrie is decent but why would you get valkyrie to level 70 if she's not getting a uniform and same thing for shuri why would you get it to level 70 if she's not getting a uniform basically those two characters only get used when you're using them in the support role however before i get sidetracked here this is actually pretty dope this is the second time we've seen them do it a mega tier 2 ticket for battle world is absolutely insane however only the person who's at rank 1 will get this so yeah but still it's actually a pretty dope reward and i hope they at some point really rework battle world because it could be a lot more fun than it currently is if you ask me Right, and then we have a list of the contents of the vibranium box, which is just rank one black antimatter. I know that's what I'm gonna get either that or chaos normstone. But if you're lucky, you can get Titan component pack, cosmic cube fragment, Titan records, tier two advancement ticket, and mega tier two advancement ticket. Crazy. And I'm saying if I could land some cosmic cube fragment or some dimension dust or Titan component packs, that would be really, really, really cool over boys let me know what you guys get and also let me know if you guys are going to gamble if you're gonna gamble for ctps now is probably the best time to go about it before this um chance up ends it's gonna end in 21 hours and 23 minutes so if you're gonna gamble if you're determined to gamble for a ctp even though now is no longer the best time but it's still a good time to gamble then you should do it now before the next reset because once it resets it's gonna go back to just chance up for one type of ctp so now you should definitely think about it if you're going to do that premium cards i've never actually gambled for right and i don't think i will because they're not going to change too much for me my cards are in a decent place already and i would never ever recommend that you spend your crystals on these things just play gbr and call it a day with what you get because it's rng to get these things and then when you use them you're not guaranteed jack you could still fail after you spend like 10 crores in crystals like it's absolutely disgusting that system is absolutely repulsive anyways boys we're gonna wrap it up right here but before we go before we go we gotta open this thing and see if we can get some luck you know what i'm saying that's actually not bad that is good that's not good that is good though Woo! okay no that's not good you don't want isos Ooh, i don't want feathers either oh my goodness come on come on come on I want some tier three materials. Tier three materials. Come on, man. No, I don't want ISOs, man. I don't want ISOs. Oh, that's good. That's good. Woo, there we go. That tier three material. That's what we need. Come on. Come on, let's get some. Oh my goodness. This is the worst thing. This shouldn't even be here. Like, seriously, 30 dimension debris. Seriously. 30 dimension debris for 100,000 gold. This is just like spitting in somebody's face. Like, really. It's just disgusting, man. Come on. I actually got a lot of black antimatter from this. The ISOs, dimension. Woo! Dimension dust. Here we go. But yeah, the ISOs and the dimension debris are the worst things in here. But I guess for somebody like me who I don't plan on working on any mutants for a little while, getting materials for them 
is also not good because I have so much already and I keep having to sell them. But for real, they should not have Dimension Debris in this box. Like, look at this shit. Look how much I have, right? It's just absolutely disgusting. Anyways, boys, leave your thoughts in the comments. Let me know how you guys are feeling about these events. And also, yeah, if you didn't see my other video, let me know how you guys are feeling about the update overall, man. Like, it, it's sad. It's sad because I was really looking forward to more than this. Huh, boys. But with that said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.